Hi everyone, let's play with Desmos. Let's enter y, y equals ax squared. But remember, you need the shift six for exponent and then the right arrow to move out, plus bx plus c. And let's put in all three sliders for the parameters a, b, and c. If you vary a, that affects the shape. If a is negative, then it opens downward. If a is zero, then you get a line. You can vary b. You can vary c. And notice that c only affects vertical shifting. We're going to make note of that. All right, now again, what's the most important point on the parabola? The turning point, the vertex. Where is it? So what's the recipe for finding the vertex of a parabola and the axis of symmetry? We'll look at an alternate method later on. The vertex of the parabola with equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is non-zero, is given by the ordered pair h comma k. This is pretty standard notation where the x-coordinate, or h, is given by this formula, the opposite of b over 2a. Does that sound familiar? The opposite of b over 2a. That's a piece of the quadratic formula, the QF. And there's a reason why, as we'll see. The y-coordinate, or k, is given by the corresponding function value. And that makes sense. Uh, y-coordinates are function values. The idea is that if I give you y equals f of x, given an x-coordinate, well, given an x-coordinate, if we know the x-coordinate of the vertex, then we can plug into the given function rule to find the corresponding y-coordinate. Here it should be one. Function values are y-coordinates. So here, uh, this is the point h comma k. Here h equals two. We plug in the x-coordinate, h or two to get the y coordinate, which is k or one, the function value. Function values are y coordinates. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line containing the vertex. So it has equation x equals h. Instead of memorizing that, look at this picture. Well, if the vertex here has x coordinate two, the vertical line here has equation x equals a number. Well, that common number better be two. The graph of an equation consists of all points whose coordinates satisfy the equation. The x coordinate of every point on here is two, including the vertex. Example. Consider the parabola given by y equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. Find the vertex and find the axis or axis of symmetry. So to find the vertex, let's use this QF type formula. The x coordinate or h, the x coordinate or h is given by this formula, the opposite of b over 2a. It might be helpful to indicate the various parameters. What are A, B, and C? A is positive one. There's an implied one over here. B is, careful, B is what? B is negative six. Watch your sign, watch your sign. And by the way, C is five, but this formula doesn't care. Remember, when we just see that does not affect the x-coordinate of the vertex. It only affects the vertical shifting. So this formula for the x-coordinate of the vertex, h, doesn't even care what c is. It's only dependent on a and on b. And notice that a cannot be zero. Remember, if a is zero, we get a line. Okay, so what's the opposite of b over 2a? It's the opposite of negative six, not positive six, over two times, and then a is one. It's a double division. You divide by both. We end up with positive three. So positive three is the x-coordinate of the vertex, h. What do we do to find the y-coordinate? Y-coordinates are what? Y-coordinates are function values. You work out f of three. 
the y coordinate, k. If, if it helps, you can think of y as being the uh, k here, y as being k here, and x is h over here. The y coordinate, k, is given by the function value at x equals 3. You plug in, you substitute into this thing over here. So we get 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 5. This time the 5 does matter. <laughs> of course, vertical shifting uh, does affect the y coordinate of the vertex. All right? And we get negative 4. The y coordinate, or k, is given by negative 4. Now remember, you have to write your final answer as an ordered pair. The vertex is given by the ordered pair, 3 comma negative 4. And the axis is given by what equation? It's a vertical line. It's given by x equals 3, the same x-coordinate as the vertex. The axis, or axis of symmetry, has equation x equals 3. And in fact, well, well, and by the way, here's another important piece of information. A is positive. It's positive 1. What does that tell us about the parabola? It opens upward. It opens upward. In fact, it has the same basic shape as y equals x squared. And in fact, make sure it passes the VLT. <laughs> in fact, uh, this might be all we need to know about the parabola. The fact that it opens upward, the vertex is at 3 comma negative 4, and the axis of symmetry is at x equals 3. That might be all we need to know about this parabola for all practical purposes. But if we wanted to do a better job of graphing this thing, what are some other points we might want to find? What are some other interesting points on the parabola and maybe some other not so interesting points. And what property will help us find points on the parabola? Hint, hint. Next time.